Hey, this is Justin with Seaboard Marine. In this video, we're starting a new project, the Sea Harvester. Now, this boat is a nice little Radden commercial fishing boat with a lot of hydraulic gear on the deck. It's a really nice boat, but it's a little heavy. And the customer was having issues with his outdrives. The outdrives weren't quite enough to get the boat up onto plane. And he was having some failures because they were a little overloaded trying to push this heavy, heavy boat. And uh, so Tony decided to go big or go home and we decided to chop the stern off of this boat, give some more flotation and planing surface, and we're going with a V-drive. So we're completely re-engineering this boat. <laughs> oh, outdrives. Yeah. Well, uh, supposedly, this is the best made. It's a Conrad 660 or something or another. The problem is, is uh, they're expensive, and when a boat's light, they do a pretty good job. But as soon as they get heavy, uh, they fall on their face. The engines over torque them. They break, and there's not enough prop to move the heavy the heavy boat. So at six, seven thousand pounds, if this all this boat weight, it'd be a really nice unit. But this boat operates between ten and probably thirteen thousand pounds of weight and it just can't hold up, they don't hold up. He's been through two of them in 200 hours. All right, Frank, today's the big day. It's a big oh, you drill holes in the boat? Yeah. It's gonna sink. Yeah. So we can drain the water when the boat's in the boat. Oh. So you don't need a bilge pump? No. So you're just using these straight edges here to continue your lines on back. That's the idea here. That's the idea. And then as straight as possible. Straight edges on the sides here to line up this way. They've been grinding it down to get it ready. Brought it down real thin at the edges so that when we build it up it's uh, not excessively thick. First stringer set here. See this guy's right here, they're not they're not in there, just kinda of cutting an inch into it. Uh-huh. He's gonna uh cusel it in place. Not now, but we're gonna put the uh the mold underneath here first. Okay. So we can start glassing. Okay, today's the big day, huh? So we got uh some melamine molds. Melamine's like particle board with a plastic coating or laminate coating on it and uh, they applied uh, two or three coats of mold release on top of that and now they're just starting their layups here. Got this side laid up and uh, getting to town on that side. I would have Frank explain it to you but he's got a mask on and he's got to keep this stuff going so. So we're using vinyl ester resin for the first layup. For the first layup. When you build it up, are you going to keep using vinyl ester, or will you switch to ISO? Oh, we'll switch to ISO. Switch to ISO, okay. So how many layers are you going to do on this first one? Just going to do this one and let it dry? Two mats, combo, and a mat. Two mats, combo, mat, all in one. One time. One wet edge, or whatever? Yeah. And then you'll have to sand, sand before you do Just more? Just touch it up, the high spots, and then do another, the same, but it's going to be mat, combo, mat. Okay. 
and then we'll let it dry and then put it in. About how many? How how thick will it be? You think about an inch, an inch thick, or no, maybe half inch. Half inch thick of solid fiberglass. Uh, Tony wanted to build a tunnel for this boat just so you can be able to trailer the boat easier in performance, and for the shaft to be a little more shallow angle. Yeah, keep the prop up higher. Up higher, so it's uh, trailer the boat. Okay. Okay, here's the sea harvester starting to come together. Transom glassed in where the outdrive was. And uh, a little bit of color on the boat here. So now you're both making the mold for the tunnel. Putting the wax, I'm putting wax on it. Putting wax on it. So you're going to start laying it up today? Yeah. How thick are you going to make it? Uh, like uh, half an inch. Half an inch thick? Yeah, half an inch thick. Matte combo, matte combo, matte combo? Yes, plus after we done half inch, we're gonna put a, a solid piece of fiberglass for the for the metal. Okay. Yeah, yeah for the uh, strut? Yeah, for the strut. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can see where the stringers are tied together, extended out. You can see the line right here. Yeah, so here we've got a little cavitation plate. We extended the tunnel out past the hole a little bit. And this is essentially so if the rudder sticks out past the back of the transom, when, you, when you're when uh, you turning, you have a low pressure side of the rudder and it can actually suck a little bit of air and cause a little chatter or whatever. So you want your rudder to be underneath, either under the hole or under one of these plates. So you see a lot of boats with these and that's what the purpose is there. Okay, so the major structural part of this is done. The tunnel is in, the stringers are glassed, the outer part of the hull is all glassed, and we're ready basically just to drop the deck down. We've um, put a flange all the way around here, uh, just below deck height. Uh, the remaining part that was of the deck that was on the transom here, we cut that off and glassed this flange on. So now we can just set a deck right on top of that and it'll flush out with the original deck and then finish off the back of the hatch here and um, basically that's done. Yeah. All right well thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos on this boat.